So today I'm talking about a C1233 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a C1233 code? Well, it's a left front wheel speed sensor input signal missing. And so what does this mean? Well, basically located at each wheel is going to be what's called a wheel speed sensor. And it's basically just reporting back to the computer how fast that wheel is spinning. And the computer uses that information for different reasons, mainly for the anti-lock brake system. But when you get the C1233 code, the computer's seeing a problem with the left front wheel speed sensor. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a C1233 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad wheel speed sensor. That left front wheel speed sensor might have just gone bad and need to be replaced. So the first thing to do is go locate that left front wheel speed sensor and test it and see if it has failed. There's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. If you have a scan tool with live data or data stream, you can go inside of there, select all the wheel speed sensors, and then drive the vehicle around a little bit and just see if that left front speed sensor is reporting the right speeds. And if it's not, you know there's some kind of issue there. You can also use a multimeter to test these wheel speed sensors. I made videos on this. I'll put a link in the description box below if you need to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad wheel speed sensor. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue going to the speed sensor. Basically, if there's an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, anything like this, then that's going to cause problems. So you can't go check out the wiring, be sure it looks like it's good, everything looks like it's plugged in. You can't even get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle. Use a multimeter and go and check it and be sure that it's good, that there's no problems going on there. Also, it's a good idea to go check for any blown fuses. Which fuse to go and check is going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, things like this. But basically anything labeled like ABS or possibly any computer related fuses or anything like that. But it's a good idea to go check for any blown fuses because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue with the reluctor ring. And basically the sensor is reading the notches in the reluctor ring and that's how it's reporting the speed back to the computer. These reluctor rings, they can become damaged, cracked, things like this. For example, right here, this reluctor ring became cracked right here, and that started causing problems. Sometimes they could be recessed down in there. So you might have to examine it closely and, and then spin it a little bit and check to see what it looks like down in there. But basically, if there's some kind of problem with that reluctor ring, if it got damaged for some reason or something like that, then that sensor is not going to be able to get a good reading, and that's just going to throw everything off. So the next thing that could cause this is a bad reluctor ring. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad ABS module. And so this module is just a computer and it might be having some kind of problem. There might be some kind of issue going on with it. It's gone bad or something like that. But usually when that happens, you'll be getting a lot of other codes. So for example, you might be getting like multiple wheel speed sensor codes or something like that. Usually when one of these ABS modules go bad, it's not just going to be one wheel speed sensor. Usually they'll be throwing out a lot of other codes. But it is possible that it's having some kind of issue. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad ABS module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the C1233 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.